Lesotho and the Maluti Mountains are full of surprises. We had come 2,685 meters above sea level to find different species of animals that lived here. But with this cold weather, we weren't going to find much. The road that was visible just an hour ago had been covered already and we moved slowly using landmarks to try and find our way. This was the first time I'd ever driven in snow in Africa. Ever since being here in Lesotho in the winter, I've been trying to see ice rats in the snow. So today we were attempting to drive to the spot where we had filmed them in different weather conditions before. When we eventually got to the place where we had seen ice rats a week before, it was quiet. The snow lay already a few centimeters high and all their burrows had been covered. Sakili and I were really surprised by this weather in late November. It was already nearly summer and uh, we had not come well prepared for the weather and uh, because there were no ice rats today we decided to come back early in the next morning. The next day it was a different place. The snow had melted and been blown away in the wind. We were really happy to see ice rats and now they were really living up to their name. With the warmer weather more rats had appeared and the feeding had become more intense. Up here in the mountains, the ice rats are not the only ones feeding on the grass and vegetation. Clanging bells signaled the arrival of the shepherd, his dogs and his sheep. The ice rats also seemed curious and stood up and peered. But they didn't stand like this for long and were soon back to their frenetic feeding. As we all know, that you never can tell what the weather can do up here, so make hay while the sun shines. <laughs> 